In this video, we will generate SQL code using large language models from uh, AWS Bedrock service. Okay, uh, we will do it using Python SDK. So we need to install these three libraries, Boto3, Boto Core, and AWS CLI, right? So importing standard Python libraries, and as I mentioned uh, in the previous video, uh, we have a couple of helper functions uh, from AWS Bedrock Workshop. Uh, so from the utilities, we are importing uh, this Bedrock module, which uh, help us create uh, this Bedrock client. Okay, and then this print function, uh, it print uh, the maximum 100 characters in a line so that we can see the entire output. All right. So using this Bedrock, we are creating two clients. One is the standard Bedrock client. So here we are saying runtime false by default. Uh, runtime is true. That will create the runtime client. Okay, the Bedrock runtime client. And uh, uh, the Bedrock service is not available in all the regions yet. So choose one of the regions where it is available. So I choose uh, US East 1, even though I'm in AP Southeast 2. All right. Now we should be able to create this client and runtime uh, using the standard Boto3, but for some reason it is not working. So I'm using the helper modules uh, provided by the uh, workshop. All right. By the way, the workshop link is in the description below. All right. So using the, the Bedrock client, uh, we can list the foundation models. Now it will show a number of things, uh, for example, so this is the metadata and from here, from in this model summaries, we have the models. For example, this is the first model and here we can see, uh, for example, the important ones. So the model ID and the model name and the model ARN, uh, the modalities, if it is text, image or it is multi multimodal, etc. And customization uh, is supported or not. Okay. So here we have printed the entire output, whereas here uh, we are printing, uh, we are invoking the same function, but we are printing only the model IDs. Okay. So these are the model IDs. Uh, we have five sets of models. One is uh, the Amazon's own model, text models, stability uh, or stable diffusions uh, image models. This I-21 anthropic and cohere language models. Okay. All right. We want to generate a SQL query. Okay, uh, to generate a query, we need to provide uh, our table schema as well as uh, what we want to achieve, right? Uh, what should the query uh, uh, should do, okay? And any additional uh, instructions. So here is our prompt data. We are saying we have a company, some name, its name is any company. So we have a company, uh, it has a database with table sales data. So here is our table name sales data and which contains the sales record. Now the table has the following schema, right? So the date, product ID, price and unit sold, which is same as uh, uh, the CSV file schema we saw in the previous video. Now we are asking two questions. Can you generate SQL query uh, for achieving the below two tasks? So the first one is, identify the top five best selling products by total sales for that year. Okay, for that year 2023. And then uh, calculate the monthly average sales for the year 2023. Now in the previous video, we actually have the CSV file uh, and we ran the Python code uh, on the CSV file generated uh, to check if the results are uh, indeed correct right so here we don't actually have this table to run the sql queries against but these are so simple we can look at the sql query to check uh, if they provide the right output or not okay all right uh, we are again going to use the same cloud uh, v2 model uh, from anthropic uh, as we discussed before uh, these are the uh, the parameters okay uh, so again, these ones, they won't change. Uh, we are only changing the prompt data, all right? Um, and then this one is also standard. So we have the model ID, 
and we have the content types, the input and output types. And here we are invoking the model. So using the bedrock runtime, the two important parameters are providing this pay, uh, payload, which contain both our prompt as well as uh, the parameters. And then uh, the model ID. So if you want to do a different model, use a different model, we simply change the model ID, but make sure that model also take the same parameters, okay? All right, uh, we invoke the model, we get the response and we are simply processing the response. So this is that function uh, print www. So it, it, it truncate the characters after 100, uh, uh, after 100 characters, okay? So yeah, this is our output. So the model is saying uh, these are our two queries. So the first one, identify the top five best selling products by the total sales, okay? So we want to get the product ID and then we want to have the total sales, right? So in the table schema, we have the price per unit and the number of units sold. So we multiply these two to get the revenue for that particular day. But because we want this at the product level, we are going to submit and we are going to group by the product ID. So let's see if that's what uh, indeed uh, this code is doing. So here we are computing the sum of the price per unit with the number of units. So this would be total sales. Uh, this is the table uh, name sales data, uh, which is what we provided in the prompt. And then we want for the year 2023, right? Because we don't have an year column, we actually have a date column uh, in this format. So the SQL query, uh, it's checking the date is indeed between the 1st of January to 31st of December of 2023. Okay, that is looking good. And then we need to group by the product ID. Okay, that's all right. And then we want to order by the total sales in the descending order and we want to limit it to five. Okay, so here top five, right? So by doing this, we are sorting and we are showing only the top five. And then for that year, so this is what we are doing that. And then for each product, so we are grouping by each product because we wanted the total sales or the total uh, total sales, which implies total revenue. So here we are summing that up, okay? So this is looking good. Uh, this uh, SQL uh, should give the right output. And the second one, uh, uh, let's move quickly because next we want to uh, test on more complex, a little more complex query uh, requiring joints, but this is also simple, right? So we want to calculate the monthly average sales for that year. So from the date, we need to extract the month and then we need to compute the total sales for that year. So here we want the product ID. Sorry, this is the second one. So here we want the month. Now, from the date, we can extract only the month. We don't need date here, this percentile Y. Uh, so uh, percentile M should have been enough. And then we are computing the average price. Uh, uh, so we are simply taking the average of price multiplied by the unit sold. Again, from the sales data, this is the year. And we want to group by the month because it's the monthly average sales. And we did not ask for uh, order by months, okay? So we don't need to uh, do this. All right, so this one is also right. And let's look at a bit more complex example where we have this hospital and patients and the medication data, okay? So here we have five tables. So the first one is the patient's table. It has the patient ID and some patient details, okay? The first name, last name, date of birth, gender, etc. And then we have the doctor's table, which has obviously the doctor ID and then the doctor details, right? First name, last name, and the uh, the specialization and the primary key. So for the patient table, primary key is patient ID. For the doctor table, primary key is doctor ID. Now the doctors, they, dis they give prescriptions to the patients, right? So here we have the prescription. Again, the prescription ID, that's the primary key. And this prescription, we wanted to know by who gave the prescription and to whom. So by who it is this doctor ID, to whom it is the patient ID, okay? So using the patient ID, we can connect it with the patient's table. 
using doctor id we can connect with the doctor's table uh, okay so that's the prescription and then we also have more details into the medication like the dosage etc uh, uh, using the medication id and then finally we have the prescription details right so the prescription details we can connect it to the prescription table uh, via the prescription id okay now for each prescription or for each medication we can know the more details about the medication uh, by connecting it uh, with the medication uh, table okay so we have here five tables the patients doctors the prescription and the prescription details and then the medication details okay so here we are saying hey you have provided with a database schema okay this time it's not a single table but it's an actual database schema representing the hospital patient management system okay the system holds records about the patients their prescriptions doctors and the medications prescribed okay so we have all these five uh, tables and here we are asking only one question which is write a sql query that fetches all the patients who were prescribed more than five different medications on this particular day okay so let's see what we need to do first we need patients table because we are finding out uh, the patients okay finding out the patients and then we need to find out how many medications so here we are asking for more than five medications right so we need to find out for each patient how many medications they have been prescribed so we need the medications but as you can see we have no direction direct connection between the patients to the medications whereas we can connect the patients table to the prescription details table using uh sorry we can connect okay first we connect the patients table with the prescription table we connect the prescription table with the prescription details right so here we don't need to know details about the medication we are trying to find out which patients have been prescribed more than five different medications right so the medication id uh, would be enough so we are counting the distinct medication ids so we need the patient's table we need the prescriptions and the prescription details okay we don't need the doctor's table and the specific medication details table because medication id uh, is sufficient so the output should join these three tables and then uh, do these uh, filterings okay so let's see uh, that uh, if the code is doing that uh, exactly the same as we saw before uh this is also exactly the same and uh, yeah this is our output all right so let's see so we have the patient first name and last name from the patient table okay this is good and then we need to join this table with the prescription table right the prescription table using the patient id so we are joining the patient table with the prescription table using the patient id okay that is looking good and then we join the prescription table with the prescription details using the prescription id okay and then we have one more join uh, with prescription details uh, using the prescription id from these two tables okay so we have three tables connected and then we want on this particular day we want to find out the patients who have been prescribed more than five medications so each medication we find out using this medication id right so here we are computing the distinct medication id we are counting the total on that particular day and checking if that value is above five okay and we are grouping uh, uh, for each patient okay so this query is also looking uh, correct and here it describe the steps also uh, i went through the steps 
uh, they are looking correct. So you can go through the steps. Uh, yeah, this is quite nice. Uh, so everything is very standard. Uh, the real trick is in properly defining the schema and providing a clear instructions uh, to the LLM model so that we get the code and we can run uh, as it is without any modifications. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you very much.